find it. Hold on, I'll just search for you, Didi. Do you want to hunt it? Chattanooga. Seriously. That is east of Frederick. So yes, I guess toward Lawton. We're on 5 toward Chattanooga. All right, Dr. Forbes, thank you very much. That's the storm that we're chasing. That one right there is between Frederick and Chattanooga, Oklahoma, what you're getting a visual on right there. That's a tornado worn storm. That goes for about another half hour or so, okay? We've been following the storm. They've been going through Tillman County. We've been hit multiple times. Basically, been right underneath uh, rotating wall clouds and even funnels, but haven't seen a tornado form just yet. This is a view out of our windshield, okay? And this is the tail end of that storm. That is just now to the north and east of Frederick. We're going to come in on the back side of it, as we, as, which has kind of been our MO the whole time. And there's been multiple areas, Dr. Forrest, which is, which is kind of intriguing to me. Within the same storm, we get multiple rotations. So we have one here straight ahead of us. And actually back to the south and west of that, we have another what looks to be a bit of a rotation. We wouldn't call it a funnel exactly, but this is the storm we're looking at. That is now on the tail end, the tail end of it. I, I'm, it's hard to figure out what to make of it, Dr. Forbes. You know, are we are we just missing that upper forcing to get enough shear in the atmosphere to get these supercells to rotate? I'm just not exactly sure what it's going to take to get these things to produce tornadoes. Pictures are amazing. <laughs> look at that! Look at that little um, straight to your straight ahead there, Daniel. You see a little? Uh, oh, not really. Kind of. It would look like a little like croissant with a hole in the middle. Short break here, guys. All right, next road. I don't know if I want to go all the way to Chattanooga. I think we go to N2380.
Everyone might bet us here. here.